Hey everyone, I wanted to make another quick video because Unreal Engine continues to do awesome things. Epic Games continues to do awesome things and today they've released some news that I think is important and of interest to the architectural visualization community and other people in 3D graphics. Especially me because I see them now. What I'm going to show you here is, is using Unreal Engine in the way and 3D graphics in the way that I've always wanted to see them use. Bringing to life things that you've always wanted to see, but they simply don't exist. Like reimagining or recreating the Temple of Luxor, for example, or ancient sites that we no longer have, but rebuilding them in their original glory and allowing people to explore them in 3D, in VR, using real-time and Unreal Engine technology. I think that is an awesome application. And they've done it here. They released on their news page in conjunction with Neoscape. They recreated the original plans in 3D for Habitat 67, which is an important architectural work of the 20th century done for the Montreal World's Fair in 1967. Anyway, it's an, it's an important part of architectural history, but it was never created or never realized the way that it was intended. So still an important project, but what was originally imagined was even more spectacular and more groundbreaking. And so Neoscape and Epic Games got together and decided, let's realize this thing in 3D and make it fully downloadable and navigatable navigable in exactly the form that it was originally imagined by the architect and then one other thing megascans which is of course owned by epic games has also released a new pack of megascans trees if you haven't used megascans trees before they're simply the best trees you can use in real time in my opinion they are awesome they have controls that can change the seasons, change the age, uh, add wind. And now there's several different packs available, several different species of trees. And they just released a new one. So we'll check that out too. I think these are a big deal. And obviously, things just continue to get better. They just released 5.2. If you want to check out my video on the new procedural tools in 5.2, I think that is super important because it gives us the ability to scatter procedurally anything we want around our world. So it's like I explained in my video, which you can check out here on my channel with the links. It is basically like having Forest Pack or Chaos Scatter built into Unreal Engine. And you can scatter like anything, any object onto any other object. It's really, really cool. So that's a big deal with the release of 5.2. And let's check out these other things that we're talking about. The new Megascans tree pack and also this Musha Softy project, Habitat 67. So let's check all that stuff out real quick. Okay, first let's check out this Habitat 67 thing. If you go to unrealengine.com and go to news and events, let's go to the news and scroll down a little bit. Exploring Hillside, a new vision of Habitat 67. So you can see in here, you can read all about it what this project is all about, why it was revolutionary. And then you can watch this whole movie about what they've done here. And basically they teamed up with Neoscape, which is a fantastic 3D studio, Archivist studio. And together they recreated this whole project and you can explore it on the cloud here. You can also see the cinematic take that Neoscape generated from their model, or you can download the interactive model yourself and explore it, which is super cool. I'm not gonna do that because it's going to be large and take a long time, but you should check that out. I've done that with the Titanic before. It's super awesome to explore stuff like this, especially in VR, because then you feel like you've been there. I don't know if you can do this one in VR or not, but downloading it, you can, uh, you know, technically you can do what you want with it and explore what you want with it. Should be awesome. The cinematic take, I want to look here. So on the Unreal Engine channel, you can see that Neoscape has done a super awesome job. It shows the capabilities that Unreal Engine has in the right hands. Obviously, some amazing stuff. They did some really stylized stuff. They also did just more, kind of what I would call more Archviz animation stuff, like this. Super, super cool. 
Look at that. Just awesome stuff. Tons of objects animated throughout. This is kind of the overall project view. And they did this in conjunction with the architect. And uh, as far as I can tell, he thought it was amazing to be able to see his vision in this way. Because when they originally did this, they were building it all with physical models and didn't have a good way to communicate it this effectively. So this is pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so I recommend going and checking this whole thing out. Maybe downloading the entire model if you're feeling brave. Let's go look now in the Explore. So in the cloud, you can control it like normal inside of Unreal Engine. You have options of what to explore. I just want to go to the hillside exterior, which is the reimagined version. Reimagined as it was originally supposed to be. So it starts with a little video, but you can immediately go into the 3D and then just control it like normal. Can't believe this is working without my computer freaking out. It's a little jumpy. But check this out. I mean, it's pretty cool. Sound effects going on. The housing is up here in these big A-frames with giant gardens below. Each unit has its own terrace. It's all very cool. And you can see how this would have been uh, extremely groundbreaking to be built this way. And even the way it was built was still groundbreaking. So a pretty awesome project. A pretty, well, not a pretty cool use of Unreal Engine. An extremely cool use of Unreal Engine, in my opinion. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is awesome. So check these things out. Like I said, it's on their news page. This is just another really cool advancement by Unreal Engine. Just using it in this way. I think is a fantastic idea and a fantastic step forward for architectural visualization. Now for the Megascans trees, let's just take a quick look. If you go to the marketplace in your Unreal Engine launcher and search for Megascans trees common hazel, you will find this new collection here. It looks fantastic, like all the Megascans trees stuff. And all you have to do is add it to project and it will add to whichever project you want that is within this range here. If you don't know how to use Megascans trees, check out my video all about Megascans trees and how to use them. But let's just open this up real quick and see what they look like inside of Unreal. Okay, if you want to check out my video about the new procedural stuff, that's the project I'm in here. Super basic, I was just showing how to scatter things using procedural tools. You can check that video out. I just added the Megascans trees to here though, so let's look at those. It's gonna be under the content common hazel. Okay, it may take a little bit to load and load all the shaders and everything, but here it is. Looks fantastic, fantastic leaves, got a little wind to it, and you can Control all of this stuff with the presets that come with it. Control the wind, control the season of it. It's in here, this global foliage actor. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to do all this stuff, then I'll link the video here. But needless to say, you can use this actor to control the wind, control the seasons, the colors, everything. And these are just fantastic assets. They look good up close, far away, everything, and it's just awesome to have more options, different kinds of trees available for free with Megascans and with Unreal Engine 5. And Unreal Engine 5 just keeps getting better and better and better, and I'm loving it. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you can try some of these things out. These would make a great forest of trees if I combine that with the procedural scattering. So many awesome things. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe. Tons more Unreal Engine stuff coming, obviously. And I will see you in the next video.